You know who I feel sorry for? I feel sorry for Muslims. They're caught between the coronavirus, the coronavirus, and the coronavirus. Uh, Muhammad uh, says in the Hadith that if a Muslim uh, doesn't go to those prayer gatherings, you know, where they have, you know, their patooties in the air all at the same time, and they bow at the same time, they're close together. If they don't do that, Muhammad tells uh, Muslims, the pious Muslims, to burn the houses down to Muslims who don't gather for prayer. So, if you think about it, a Muslim is really caught between the coronavirus, the, 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 cor the coronavirus and the coronavirus. On top of it, Muhammad said that um, if you die of plague as a Muslim, it's like dying a martyr in jihad. Uh, so, a Muslim is actually to go to a mosque and get contaminated so they can die a martyr in jihad by getting the plague. So, really, a Muslim is caught between two horrible situations here. They, um, and, and on top of, yeah, if they don't go, they get their house burned down and possibly killed for thought of being as out of Islam, or they get a deadly disease that can turn them into a plague rat, basically a plague rat of the 21st century, if they just, if they find this out now. And they seem to have done that because in England, they're actually coughing in people's faces, coughing in the faces of old people, deliberately doing that. I saw that with Tommy Robinson. So, uh, I mean, if you thought Muslims were scary, now with this uh, uh, virus and the idea of becoming a, a martyr by dying in jihad, by getting the plague, they're a lot scarier now, if you think about it. So, I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to be a Muslim now. Uh, yeah. So. But anyway, Muslim, if you're watching this and you don't want to become a plague rat and risk getting shot by someone who's carrying a gun, uh, obey Quran 1094 and come to me for my reading of the before scriptures, the Bible. And if you do that, I'll tell you that um, the Torah, the Torah, and the Injil, the Gospel, New Testament, confirm each other by Jesus dying on the cross for his for our sins, uh, making sense of all the sin offerings and blood atonement described in the Torah, uh, Allah's book given to Musa. Uh, that uh, he makes sense of. Uh, uh, the spotless lamb's blood being put over the doorways to keep the angel of death from killing the firstborn of Israel, which makes no sense. If, to me, it makes no sense if Jesus uh, didn't become our sacrificial lamb and died on the cross for our sins. So, keep that in mind. <clears throat> and if you have the virus and you don't want to do it and you die, just remember, you know, to die is gain. As the Bible says, you know, so accept Christ as your personal and savior. And if you uh, die from the virus, then you're out of here. You know what I mean? You go to a place better. And you don't have to kill somebody to do it, you know? Bye.